music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me today. I got a nice little Hank Williams deep cut song here. Uh, the Old Country Church, maybe not one of his more popular tunes, but certainly a good one, a nice gospel tune. And it's a request from a new premier member out there and a good one. So um, I wanted to make a nice beginning Carter style arrangement, right? So straight ahead melody, playing everything. Yeah, again, straight ahead, nice and easy, kind of getting in that Carter style. So if you're looking to learn some Carter style tunes. I mean, I have tons at the website, but this is a good one to start with as well. I do the verse and the chorus. The chorus also has uh, a little bit of like a call and response thing, and I'm able to emulate that as well. So I thought that was cool. Um, if you uh, like what you see and you want to check out purchasing the full length version as just, just a preview here when you're watching, you click the link above or below and uh, shoot you over to my website and there it comes with about 30 minutes of video, PDF tabs, two practice tracks, just you know slow tune so just a couple practice tracks and uh, live, what I call live performance tracks right, it's just me and the camera playing slow and medium tempo so you can see everything that's going on all in real time as well. Alright so if, uh, if you really dig the way I teach, again I got tons of Carter style stuff and gospel, you can check out my whole repertoire but um, there's a couple links above or below for memberships as well. I come out with a new lesson every week and you can access over 220 lessons at the site um, for yeah for a monthly or yearly fee. So check that out if you're interested. For now we're going to go ahead and start walking through this tune a little bit, bring the camera up close and uh, yeah go for it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Alright so let's go ahead and start walking through this uh, basic arrangement for Old Country Church and uh, Hank Williams tune and to match the key that they're playing in because um, he's doing it in the key of E I capoed on the fourth fret and we're gonna play out of C position so um, yeah I still want to get that Carter style thing to in, it's much easier to do in the C position than E position so that's what we got going on here and uh, yeah markings on the bottom of the staff pick directions any markings above the staff are left hand fingerings there's just a couple in here um, so I'll play the first few measures and then break them on down for you. Okay, so it goes like this. One, two, three. And I end on the first note of measure five. Again, two, ready, go. play one little wrong note there in the measure two uh, didn't sound wrong just what's written on the tablature but we'll fix that so um it starts with a pickup on beat four and this is i mean honestly kind of out the gate here kind of weird but this is probably the trickiest part again this is a beginner arrangement but this little triplet and i'll show you a different way you can do it too if it throws you up too much but um this little triplet here two zero pull on the d and then third fret on the A. And the timing, again, we're getting three notes in one beat. And so the timing is triplet, bicycle, strawberry. Okay? And if it's really throwing you off, you can just do two eighth notes. You can do two zero. Um, you can do 
second fret and then open D as two eighth notes. If it, the triplet can really throw you off, if you're not used to it, you know, you still haven't played many of those. So, but that's what's written. And you could do that as well, okay? Triplet, and then zero two hammer on, on the D, and then a strum. And you notice I'm strumming the bottom three strings or the highest sounding three strings and I often do that in the Carter style. If you strum more, then it's not the end of the world, but it sounds a little cleaner when you strum just the high strings. And then open D back to third fret A. So that first little measure and a half. Next measure, measure three, zero two hammer on the D again, strum, and then open D, third fret A. So measures two and three are exactly the same. And we're gonna see those measures again um, throughout the piece. So once you've got these two, you know, measure two and three, you have two, four, six measures of the piece, actually. And then I'm kind of looking through it, maybe even a few more. So that little theme, that um, melody comes up again and again. And then the next measure, uh, measure four, it goes to the F chord, but I'm never going to really finger the F chord there. I'm just going to play four quarter notes and, and uh, open D, third fret A, third fret A, open A. Okay. Again, that's going to be over an F, you know, so if you're playing rhythm, you play, you know, strum an F chord. But I never get there to strumming. So all um, four of these measures, again, we're going to start on, a, on the pickup on beat four there, but these measures in context, one, two, three. If I didn't want to do the triplet, I could do eighth notes here. So one, two, three. Again, land on the first beat of measure five. Last time. One, two, three. So let's move on to the next set of measures here. Mm -hmm. 